Welcome to the Salt Lake City Council. Um, we'll start uh, with the Pledge of Allegiance. So, please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I'm looking for approval of the minutes for December 8th, 2015, and Tuesday, January 5th, 2016. So moved. Second. It's been, a motion's been made and second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're moving on to item number four. Um, I'm actually going to look for a motion to convene as the board of directors. This is your deal, Stan. I move that the council um, recess as the Salt Lake City Council and reconvene as the board of directors of the local building authority. There's a motion made by Councilmember Penfold and second by Councilmember Luke. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have now convened as the board of directors of the local building authority. We need to look for a, approval of the minutes for January 5th, 2016. Move approval. Second. Uh, motion and second have been made. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving into the public hearings uh, as local building authority. Um, I don't have any cards for this, so unless Polly would like to speak. All right, moving forward for the public hearings. Are we? Uh, I move we close the public hearing. A uh, motion's been made by Councilmember Mendenhall, seconded by Councilmember Luke to close the public hearing for item number one, correct? Uh, should we consider a motion? Okay. Yeah, we'll defer action to a future date. Do we need to do that, Mar Margaret? Yeah, the, the preferred way would be to close the public hearing, defer action to the currently scheduled March 8th, 2016 date. Thank you. I uh, would like to amend my motion that we close the public hearing and defer action to the Mar March 8th. March 1st, 2016. March 1st, 2016. Second. Uh, motion has been made by Councilmember Mendenhall, second by Councilmember Penfold to close the public hearing and refer action to a later date. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, that passes unanimously. Moving on to potential action items. Uh, C1, which is a resolution for local building authority, a budget amendment for number one for uh, fiscal year 2015 and 16 for fire station number four. Number 14, excuse me. Mr. Chair, I move that the council adopt a resolution amending the final budget for the capital projects fund of the local building authority of Salt Lake City, Utah for fiscal year 2015-2016. Uh, the motion's been made by Councilmember Penfold, second by Councilmember Luke. Does anyone want to have any discussion in regards to this? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, that passes unanimously. I'll look for a motion to... Mr. Assist. Chair, <laughs> I move that we adjourn as the Board of Directors of the Local Building Authority and reconvene as the Salt Lake City Council. Second. Uh, motion and second have been made. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Welcome back, Council Members. Uh, we're on to item number D, uh, which will be letter D, actually. Questions to the mayor from the city council. Welcome, mayor. Hi. Thank you. We appreciate you being here this evening. Was, does anyone have any questions for the mayor? Not a single one. This is our first one. Let's make it hard. Oh, I'm sure you've got one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just point out again that it was Mayor Biskupski's birthday yesterday. Yep. It's, Happy birthday. I, every meeting I've been, I've been to three meetings with her now, and every time I have to point that out. Yeah, I understand same. there was cake, though, and I'm concerned that I didn't get any. Yeah. That's is there any all left? I'm going to share. Is there any left? Hey, we got yeah. an email about cake that. all day. We got an email about <laughs> cake, but I didn't, I wasn't here, so I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> if well, there are leftovers, I, I'm sorry, but the staff ate it all. So. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here, and Patrick as well, your chief of staff. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move on to comments to the City Council. I have two cards. Uh, I currently see one of the individuals who filled out a card, um, Polly Hart, followed by Jihad Al-Ali. 
Hi, my name is Polly Hart. I live at 355 North Quint Street, and tonight I'm speaking to you on behalf of Mill Creek Fido's. Um, happy birthday, Jackie, one uh, day belated, and welcome new council members and mayor. Um, I want to remind all of you who came to our Mill Creek Fido's candidate forum last year of two promises that you made. And uh, the first was um, to look at getting rid of the Class B misdemeanor penalty for off-leash. We've talked about this a year ago. We've talked about it two years ago. Um, it's still not just ridiculous, but unjust uh, for an off-leash penalty to be the same as breaking and entering public intoxication, assault. It's ridiculous. I'd like this to be the year that we get rid of that penalty and make it just an infraction. Um, the second thing is we also talked about revisiting the Parley's Nature Park uh, management plan. I would like this to be the year that we do that as well. Um, the directors of Mill Creek Fido's would be happy to take any of you on a tour down there so that you can see what has happened over the last eight years. It's not pretty. Um, that's it. I will be in touch. Thank you so much. Does anybody have questions for me? I know this is not a give and take, but. Thank you, Polly. Appreciate your comments. Thank you so much. Jihad Al Ali, I don't see him here. Any other comments that anyone would like to make to the council? Uh, seeing none, we're moving on. There's no items in letter E, new business. Um, we don't have any items in unfinished business. Mr. Chair, I move that we ad adopt the consent agenda. Uh, motion's been made and seconded. Uh, those, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we're done. We are going to move on, though. We have announcements from uh, Cindy Gus Jensen. I think you should be fa in Quarters fairness office. to new people. We should say this never happens two times in a row like this. So <laughs> uh, we're saving it up. <laughs> the recorder's office needs just one minute. Yep. Okay, thank you. Sorry, everybody. Okay, the first item is um, the uh, council has the opportunity to uh, insert into the public utilities mailing uh, one newsletter per year per city council member. There are three months that are set aside for that opportunity, so we can have three council members in any month. So there are some slots that um, are filled in other um, in other ways, so we need to know who would like to do um, a newsletter in April, in October, or in December. And you can either tell me now, or you can tell your lays on the next couple of days. Uh, there's quite a long lead time on it, so we need to get um, your material. The council staff will help you write your um, articles and those sort of things, but we need to get there's certain deadlines we have to meet in order for it to meet the mailing. It's quite an economical thing to do because they're sending out uh, this mailer anyway. And so for many years, the council members have each had a chance to insert a newsletter and, and the um, paper and printing comes out of your budget, but you don't have to pay postage. Cindy, can you put me down for December? Okay, I'll take October. I, I'm happy with December. Um, I'll do April as well. Okay, let me see if I have this, okay? In April, we have Andrew, Derek, and Lisa. In October, we have Aaron and James. And in December, we have Charlie and Stan. Stan, were you December? December. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, then um, we deferred this from last meeting. The uh, city council member on the Council of Governments, uh, largely the representation is mayors. In addition to our mayor serving on the Council of Governments, we are able to have a council member serve. They meet the first Thursday at 2 p.m. And I... Um, think that there's, I'm not sure if there's more than one council member 
interested. I've, I've been asked a couple of questions by people, so maybe the council could express interest and go from there. Cindy, I'm interested in serving. Okay. Okay. And I... Okay. I had a note that James was interested, but are you interested in COG? Okay. I didn't know if that note related to this or something else. Okay. So we have two people who are interested, Council Member Charlie Luke and uh, Council Member uh, James Rogers. So um, you two need to, either the group can vote or you can flip a coin or. Yeah, you'd, 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 you'd beat me at swimming. You sure? Okay. All right. And then we also have something else. Um, we need to designate uh, voting members on the Utah League Policy Committee. All council members, all mayors from all cities in the state are invited to attend. Uh, just as a technicality, uh, there are three voting members from Salt Lake City. One, of course, is the mayor. And traditionally, we have been allowed to have two council members. Um, but they're all voice votes, and it's never really mattered much. So we these are votes during the legislative during session. During the um, during the there's a policy committee that meets throughout the year, and they meet during the session on uh, Mondays, I believe, at noon, and it's every Monday. So we need to know who is interested in that I've done it in over the past two years and I um, I think I was the only council member that actually went Charlie was up there but he was, was doing other there. work yeah. um, and I won't be able to do it this year but it's uh, so it's really a, if, a voice vote if it's okay with council I'd love to do it and if Charlie's up there too we could do it together that's good great okay no objection okay all right and then the next item we have is the retreat start time where are we? 5.30 a.m. Is that traditionally what we do? Some terrible early hour. You're up. So you have, uh, you have the breakfast that's at uh, 7.30. And then there's some discussion of doing it uh, at 11 or 11.30. And then there was other discussion of doing it right afterwards. So I think we ought to do it. If we're already meeting, I'd rather do it right after and be done earlier. And if that's the case, I move that uh, we move the council photo to February 2nd, I think would be the date. Because um, there were requests made that people don't want to dress up really to come to the, to the, uh, the retreat. So well, Derek and I both have a hair appointment for it, so we want to make sure our hair looks good for the photo. <laughs> so if the rest of the council is okay with postponing that, it actually gives us all a little time to look good. Can you reschedule that? Because I know sometimes that's an issue depending on your. <laughs> oh my heck! Okay, so I am too. So, what time does this retreat start? Right after the legislative after breakfast? breakfast? Yeah, I'm good with moving it to right after the legislative. Where breakfast. Where is the retreat being held? It's going to be held at the Utah Opera Building on Fourth West and like three thirty-five North. Oh, we're going Where's off campus. At, it's at Gallivan. Again, and we weren't able to schedule both at the same location. Galvin was booked in the afternoon. Otherwise, we would have done it right after. Yeah. So we're talking about a minimum break, like an hour or thirty minutes, or yeah, yeah. Uh, so nine. Let's see, nine, probably nine thirty or ten. I don't know what do you want to say. I would appreciate a minute, or I'll be late to the retreat. Okay, you'd re appreciate. Ten? A minute, a more minute. than 30 minutes to get okay. from Galvin over there and get situated. Okay. 45 minutes would even be helpful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm hearing I wanted to be as accommodating as possible. So if Aaron says 45 minutes, let's do it 45 minutes after the legislative okay. breakfast. Well, so we'll set it for, um, we'll figure out a time that's flexible. 
to put on the agenda so that it'll start at such and such time or immediate as soon as yeah or 45 minutes after we finish yes okay something like that okay, okay. Well, we and then we'll be sending time. you some um, information about the format and that type of thing okay that's five hours it. So oh there's still a question Oh. Yeah. Okay. Was that a question? No, I understand that you tradition you, you've been asked to reopen the formal meeting, but that's usually not uh, permissible in a in a legal situation. This is an unusual situation because you've gone from formal meeting, you've closed it, you've moved back into work session. Um, you wouldn't normally reopen public meeting. Everybody, no one has left thinking that you ended. Someone is here who wanted to comment. At a minimum, you would need to switch back to the other recorder to get their comments back on the right agenda. It's a little bit awkward either way. I think it's sort of at your discretion, um, but it, it's not your usual practice um, to reopen after you've adjourned. But can I ask Margaret, to, uh, because in order to get it as part of the official record, we'd have to go back. I think you would have to go back. The recorder would need to switch we back. We couldn't do it as a courtesy as part of the briefing session because of the recording system. Because of the recording system, you don't have public comments on your work session right. agenda either, so I think that's a really bad thing. It would be, not here, here, the yeah, public. you're right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think we should reopen it, so Jihad al -Ali has something to say. We give him his two minutes. And, and just so you're aware, we have had a lot of people in the past who have come later and not had the opportunity to speak because they missed the public comment period, but. We don't typically have a 10 minute formal meeting either though. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that Mr. Ali has been at other formal meetings that lasted multiple hours, hours and waited till the very bitter end to be able to comment. So this time I hope that we can make an exception. What's our procedure for doing that? close out of your work session and then uh, give the recorder a moment to switch back to the other encoder. Do we need a motion or anything? I mean, we're in a work session, so we really can't make a motion to do right. it. You so don't need a motion to close it. It's out. just so up to the chair, right? So all you need to do is just reconvene the meeting. Yeah, I, I think we should reopen it so Jihad has his, he's been here several times and waited like Aaron said, but uh, it's not a normal procedure. Just hope you know, Jihad, that we are going to uh, some serious uh, situation here so that you have time to speak. And it sounds that, like the recorder's ready, so is the recorder ready? Well, I, I just want you to understand that and recognize, Jihad, I, I want you to recognize that we're going... 7.15, we started at 7. That's right. But Jihad, I just want you to know that we're, we're going through some extra... What? Next week, next time, I'm going to come here with you, and I'm going to respond to this. I promise you. Okay. I was going to work... We're, Jihad, we're making... We're making a, <laughs> Stop! Wait! Oh, so, Jihad, wait. Jihad, 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 Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, wait, hang on here until we, Mr. You're misunderstood. Mr. Ali, you just need to wait until we we we're we're, we're making accommodations for you, Mr. Ali. But I, I kind of don't want to do it when you're, you're going to speak out like that. The recorder's ready whenever you are if you want to reopen. Take a. Okay. Mr. Ali, please uh, come to the podium. You've got two minutes. Do you need to you need call to, us I think order? you need to call us to order and formally well, reopen. Uh, um, is my two minutes to start? You guys got to tell me. I'm an Arab. I do not know. You know. Second degree human. Uh, I would like to welcome the mayor and I sincerely. Uh, one of the elections I worked in from my heart for is this mayor here to win. For several reasons later on, we could discuss it through the years. Um, in the meantime, I would like to welcome the new comer to the council here. I see quite a few brand new faces. I hope you are more productive than the previous guys. The previous guys are great guys and they serve the city, the city very good, you know, I mean, but not to the level of competitive. It's different between Yale and South Utah. You know, there is different, you know, I love South Utah, but when you want to, anyway, let's talk business now. The addiction, 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 uh, 
uh, is a problem we face uh, in, in Salt Lake. Uh, and that could be a very big problem if employment get up, you know. Anyway, is addiction a disease or is addiction a crime? Uh, me personally, I think it's a sin. Addiction is a sin, me, I think that. But you guys cannot think like that. You think, is it a crime or is it a, a disease? Uh, that's one thing. Number two, you ask for $27 million for the homeless issues. You are back. You know, one time the plane was coming, and the guy said, we are going to be landing in Salt Lake City, turn your clock back to the Middle Ages. Uh, the, sh the services for the homeless is from the 50s and, and the 60s, of last century. Rise up, you get to have a computer center, you get to have games, you have to have a guy sitting over there with the telephone. If somebody wants four hour jobs, they are good for four hours only. They, all of them, they want to go and do the job. A lot of good people in Salt Lake, they will go. They say, I need somebody to clean my yard. Uh, so those guys sitting over there excited, drinking coffee, getting ready to go to work. That's the kind of center we need. And the sleeping quarter is a sleeping yeah. quarter full of bugs, you know. Let's raise to 2015 with the 27 million dollars. That's the business we're going to talk about, and you are got to answer. Is it a disease or is it a crime? It's not a crime. I know that. Stop wasting taxpayer money. Thank you very much, and welcome, Mayor. Thank welcome. you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because okay. You do. You know Thank you, Mr. Lee, and we're going to close the, the formal meeting once again. All right. Do we have anything else, Cindy, in regards to? Hmm? Okay.